close your eyes, turn off your cell phone, and watch your breath. Watch the breath coming all the way in, all the way out. You can focus anywhere in the body where it's easy to see. Now the breath is coming in, now the breath is going out. And ask yourself if it's comfortable. If it's not comfortable, you can change. Deeper, more shallow, heavier, lighter, faster, slower, longer, shorter. Whatever kind of breathing feels good for the body right now. Experiment for a bit to see what feels good. Because we want to be able to stay in the present moment to see what the mind is doing. So we need a comfortable place to stay. Otherwise, the mind is going to go running off at the, the slightest excuse. And we want to see what's happening in the mind because we care about what's going to happen to us or what's going to become of us. One of the Buddha's questions that he has you ask every day is, days and nights fly past, fly past. What am I becoming right now? And what will I become? based on my actions right now. As the Buddha said, there are two qualities that help protect you. One is a sense of shame and the other is a sense of compunction. Shame is not feeling that you're a bad person, it's just realizing there's certain kinds of behavior beneath you. And you'd be ashamed to have the people you respect know that you would do things like that. This is healthy shame. Choose good people to respect and then you want to look good in their eyes. That can protect you from a lot of things. Compunction is the opposite of apathy. Apathy is you don't, just don't care what's going to happen in the future. Just do whatever you feel like doing on the spur of the moment. And we can destroy ourselves that way. Because if we don't look after ourselves, who's going to look after, after us? We may hope that someone's going to come along and help us, but all too often we just pull ourselves down. And anyone else that comes along, we pull them down too. We have to realize that our lives are shaped by our actions, and so we want to be very careful about our actions. We have to be careful about our actions. And it starts right here, because the actions come out of the mind, and before they come out into your body and into your speech, you want to see what the mind has to say and why it has to say it, what it wants to do, why it wants to do it. And if you have a comfortable sense of well-being in the present moment, it's a lot easier to say no to the things that would be destructive. That way you look after yourself, and as you're looking after yourself, you look after others, too. Think of the Buddha's image of the two acrobats. One acrobat is standing on the shoulders of the other, and the one beneath says, Okay, now you look out after me, and I'll look out after you, and that way we'll come down from the pole. They would stand on the top of a pole. And the acrobat standing on top said, No, that wouldn't do. You look after yourself, I'll look after myself, and that way we protect each other. In other words, you keep your sense of balance. You help other, help other people keep their sense of balance as well. So by protecting yourself, protecting your actions, you're protecting people around you. And you're protecting your future. So when you ask yourself, as the days continue, what will I become? You look at the present moment and say, well, I'm creating good causes right now. And I want to stick with that. And that way that sense of shame and compunction becomes your protection. And that protection gets spread around.